you're all in for a treat. Uh, we are having a two daughters that are coming in. Uh, one at 12 and one at 12.30 who are going to hook up to a microphone and you can hear them talking from underwater. We're going to answer some of uh, your most popular questions. So stick around uh, before you leave and you'll see that in a few minutes. They'll be appearing or uh, coming to us from the north end or the shallow end of this exhibit. Doesn't that sound like Darth Vader? Hello? Drew, can you hear me? It's fine. Great, great. Well, welcome. Everybody, everybody wave at Drew. Hey, everybody. <laughs> well, we've been talking a little about this exhibit, Drew, so can you give us some idea of how big it is? This exhibit, is, it's got 6.3 million gallons of water. It's almost the size of a football field. About 286 feet long and about 122 feet wide. And where I'm standing is the deepest part of about 30 feet. And on the other side of the tunnel behind me, it gets down to about 22 feet deep. Sounds good. And what is the temperature of the water? Pretty comfortable. It's about 76 degrees. Got it. And how often is the water filtered? Wow, that's amazing. Okay, folks, what's the biggest fish in here? Out there, the whale sharks? Absolutely, they are the biggest. Hey, Drew. Yes, sir. How many whale sharks do we have? Whale sharks. We have two female and two male whale sharks. And how big are they? The whales are the biggest. They're about 22 to 23 feet long, and the males are about 17 to 18 feet long. Now, do we have to worry about the whale sharks eating everything? Well, the whale sharks don't eat anything big. They're filter feeders, so they eat very, very small things like krill or very smooth, which are small shrimp. Yeah, and they, can, they can't swallow big things, so they don't eat big stuff. Drew's right. What's amazing is the whale shark's throat is only the diameter of a quarter. So even though they're the biggest fish and therefore the biggest sharks in the world, there is nothing in here that they can eat including the divers. So, that makes us very comfortable when we're diving with four of the world's largest sharks. We don't have to worry about the eaten by the diver. Well, Drew, how do we feed the other fish in here? Fish are fed with what I call broadcast feeding. They have stations set up along the top of the, of the water. And they physically throw out food to the, the other fish. There are some fish that are fed, they're called station fed, and then, like the whale sharks, are fed with ladles. Absolutely. Thank you. There's um, one. There's a pipe that runs from the surface down to the bottom here of this window, and then it takes a 90 degree turn and it runs the entire length of this window. And it has six ports on it. And twice a day we pump 100 pounds of food down there, about six different kinds of food. So the food all bubbles up, and then the fish pick out their their favorite food. Hey, Drew. How long have you been diving? Diving for about 25 years. I've been diving since about 1983, 1984. It's a long time. Can other, can our guests dive in here? And if you see these over here, they are part of the dive version program. And it's open to any certified divers. You can either dive, or if you're not certified, you can go cool. swimming, which would be on the surface. But yes, it is available for any guests. Right, and it's also, folks, for those of you who are not certified divers, who are snorkelers, you too can come in here. Well, Drew, we sure appreciate your time today. Everybody, okay. let's give them a big round of applause. Yeah. All right, buddy, you take care. We'll see you later. He's going to unhook now, and then at 12.30, Janine, who is another diver, will come back and ask other questions. Now, folks, these, these divers here are part of that program that uh, Drew is talking about. It's called the DIP program, Dive Immersion Program. As a matter of fact, we have two openings for the 3 o'clock dive. So if anybody is interested in joining this group, you have to be 12 years old, a certified diver.
This is Elliot right here who's waving at us. Elliot is our safety diver who's going to make sure that the other fish stay away from Janine while she's stalking. Sounds like Darth Vader, doesn't it? Janine, can you hear me? Hi, dear. Everybody wave at Janine. Good, I can hear you. Hey, dear, how are you? Hey, can you repeat your question? Yes. How much water do we have in there? There are 600 million gallons of water in the aquarium. Okay. And how often is it filtered? The water is filtered once an hour. Janine, why don't the whale sharks eat the other fish? That's an excellent question. All of the fish in here are fed so well that they don't eat the other fish. Can the whale sharks eat anything in here? Well, the whale sharks have a mouth that's four and a half feet wide, but the throat is only the size of a quarter. Wow, it's one of the ultimate ironies of Mother Nature. The largest fish in the world, therefore the largest shark, has to eat the smallest creatures. And that makes me as a diver feel very safe when I'm in there. So I know that we can't be eaten by the whale sharks. Janine, what do we feed the whale sharks? Whale sharks eat krill and plankton and very small stuff. Good point. They eat krill. We feed them krill. Now we don't have any plankton in here because the filtration would destroy it. We feed them krill, we feed them silver sides, a little minnow about two inches long. We feed them gel, a man-made jello that is packed with vitamins and minerals. And by the way, it tastes terrible. I've tried some of it. So. We freeze that and then thaw it. We put it in a bucket at the end of a 10-foot aluminum pole. And twice a day, we turn that bucket upside down in front of the mouths of the whale sharks. Each one gets between 11 and 18 pounds of food every day from those two feedings. Janine, how do we feed the other fish? Well, there's several types of feedings that we do in the aquarium. Some are direct feedings, like Doug talked about with the whale sharks where we directly feed the fish. Others are broadcast fed, where we throw lots of fish into the aquarium for some of them to eat. And then for the little guys, that are hand-filled down here by a smart bottle. Hey, Janine. How long have you been diving? I've been diving about 10 years. Um, in the aquarium, about two now. I'm a volunteer diver. And you can also become a volunteer diver. Just visit our information desk. And Jump in here with me. Well, Janine, thank you very much. We appreciate your information, folks. Let's give her a nice round of applause. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, everyone. See you later. You take care of yourself. Thanks.